Greetings, superior beings. Greetings, supreme being. Welcome to Universal Peace or Jimdao.com. Um, the previous podcast was also of blocking, interfering with evidence of incitement to commit genocide, mass murder, evidence of mass murder, and evidence of torture, rigid energy weapon torture, and they've erased that article, it was 122 kilobytes, it's still 122 kilobytes, but now all the text is missing, so that's interesting, and the other thing is error sending message with what is called Yahoo Mail in reality, and somebody sent me a message that is this message here Hi, any luck finding a cure for the centipede? Please contact me also go TL What's that bug? Interesting event about centipede and infant Removing centipedes from the human body and keeping them out of the house Dear Nurse Atar 1, thank you for your reply. Until now I have not had any success removing the centipedes out of my body and they are also in my father's body. They are Lithobius forficatus, about 1.5 centimeters big and they live about 6 years. The doctors cannot see the centipede on a CT scan PET scan. They saw something in my throat but further examination did not help colonoscopy and bronchoscopy. It is possible these centipedes are controlled with synthetic telepathy with HAARP like hybrid insects but without the chip. We are certain they are in our bodies because they leave markings in our feces in which their shape is clearly recognized. V sign or chevron sign at outer end. See video, centipedes in my body. Please help on YouTube for pictures of what I, the markings in my feces and the centipede bites look like. They also leave a yellow sticky poison behind that reeks of ammonia. No one has contacted me with a way to remove these centipedes from our bodies and the doctors pretended or they think I'm suffering from delusional parasitosis, paranoid schizophrenia and forced drug me almost to death and I do not want to go through that again. Please put this story on your website because I am desperately seeking a cure against these centipedes, a way to get them out of my and my father's body. They mainly reside near the anus and I feel them crawl sometimes and there is one behind my left eye causing a gas pocket behind my left eye. A woman in India heard clicking sounds in her throat. I can send you a recording I made today of the centipedes making clicking sounds in my throat. And they removed the centipede from her throat in the hospital because there are several of them in our bodies and a boy died of cancer after treatment with Nicholas am I to get centipedes out of his body I first want to try natural things I have tried the following antihelmintics 1. Pumpkin seed which contains cucurbitin which helps against tapeworm to make them release the intestinal wall 2. Chrysanthemum cinerifolium, pyrethum in ethereal oil form I take a few drops though it is advised not to ingest the oil but the centipedes did not seem to care they probably closed their ventricles so I need a drug in my bloodstream harmless to humans and harmful to centipedes. Perhaps bear can help me? 3. Parasite free with several ingredients to get parasites out of the human body. 4. Alcohol, peppers, cinnamon, clove, garlic. Perhaps I need to take one of these things in a bigger amount to have success. Please contact me on this email address. Flifflipu at yahoo.com or skyp. Prologic 999. Preferred. Camphor may help to keep them out of your room and a regular bug check but camphor is deadly when ingested for as far as I know. Perhaps I need to take one of these things in a bigger amount to have success. Please contact me on this email address. Flifflipu at yahoo.com or skyp. Prologic 999. Preferred. Camphor may help to keep them out of your room and a regular bug check but camphor is deadly when ingested for as far as I know. Hopefully a way to keep them out of our houses and bodies is found soon. Greetings from Holland, Ulrich BC, Hoffman. So my Skype address is preferred. You can Skype me. Skype Prologic 999. And this is uh, the recording I made this morning of the centipedes clicking in my throat so any ticking sounds are not against the mic but those are centipedes in my throat so I've recorded it with an mp3 recorder near my throat So 
So th that are these are really centipedes of the type Lithobius forficatus that are in my throat. And I've attempted to remove them with this clamp type of thing that I've also used to pierce my nose in reality. The woman in India, they were successful in removing the centipede from her throat with that. <coughs> Perhaps I need to sedate it first. I get. Uh, I cannot get it very far into my throat without almost throwing up, basically. So I'm desperate to find a cure against centipedes in the human body, also for my father. And the feces, our feces, show the markings of the centipede clearly in reality. So that makes it clear, very clear, that there are centipedes in our bodies. A long 1.5 centimeter marking with at the outer end a V sign, basically, of the antennae of the centipede in reality. So <coughs> I offer 200 euros for anybody that can give us a working method or medicine to get centipedes out of the human body even more if necessary but uh, then it has to work basically and I can prove beyond a reasonable doubt also in court that there are centipedes in my body but since they have attempted to force drug me to death and uh, doctors may not have a centipede cure, a centipede medicine, niclosum might, might not help against centipedes, it helps against millipedes perhaps, but not centipedes. And I don't want cancer in a boy and I ran, died of cancer after treatment with niclosamide for millipedes. So I definitely don't want that. And uh, they've shown me in the UMC hospital that they control the centipedes beyond a reasonable doubt with synthetic telepathy. So if I die, then the people with HARP definitely did it. There are people that have accused the Rockefellers of extorting the Japanese Prime Minister. And they've also made those meltdowns, the quakes in Fukushima, and a lot of other things with HARP to depopulate the earth in violation of the Genocide Convention while pretending we're overpopulated and that they have to create a satanic new world order after depopulating to 500 million, so they're obviously insane, those people that anonymously donated the Georgia Guidestones. And I think there are witnesses who know who placed those illegal Georgia Guidestones advocating depopulation to 500 million there. And of course anonymous, somebody with a mask on could make a graffiti on those Georgia Guidestones and spray the word genocide convention on the Georgia Guidestones. So that's the idea. Uh, cure against centipedes and if I know one then I'll let you all know via YouTube but I think there are none and that's also the name of my doctor at the AMC hospital that after seeing my feces thought there were no centipedes in my body but that may be to help me because if they don't have a cure against centipedes then I would die from the possible medicine which would never reach the centipedes near my anus. So I've also tried enemas with for example chrysanthemum cinerari folium which is supposedly deadly to the centipedes. So that's why I'm wondering if they're perhaps specifically designed genetically altered centipedes that only attack me and my father, our DNA basically. And Perhaps that has to do with the fact that I've exposed the genocide. I've attempted to press charges of directed energy weapon torture and your standard procedure to label you paranoid, schizophrenic and or psychotic. If you do that according to the diagnostic statistical manual of the shrinks or and or psychiatrists. And um Right, after that I've attempted to press charges of incitement to commit genocide and also of cancer cell phone radiation exposure. And in all these matters you cannot press charges in reality, which makes clear that your government is terroristic or at least that there are people inside the government that are terroristic that want to depopulate the 500 million with the book quotes on universalpeace.chimdo.com. 
implement universal peace now because the taxpayers have a right to be protected with their tax money not to be exterminated by a bunch of satanic trolls that have tortured my mother to death with harp. Universalpeace.jimdow.com